1200 1400 okay. so this moment in y newton meter so we know that point a is zero point b is equal to zero point c is one two four three point five yeah just going to eyeball this okay so it's one two four three point five then point D is one 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 six zero point six. Okay. Lower one one six zero point six. Then moment at E is five eight zero point three. Hey. Why my skills are so off? Uh, sorry. It it looks weird. My bad. My eyes are so gone today. Six hundred, eight hundred, a thousand, one two o o, one four o. I do apologize. Okay. So it is one two four three point five. Then you have point D is one one six zero point six. Then you have five eight zero point three at point E. And then at point E B is go back to zero. Okay, so that is how our profile look like so we sketch our moment profile okay so the next thing that we will do is we are going to uh uh, calculate MZ of the shaft AB. Okay, MZ of the shaft AB. Okay. So again, MZ, right? So we only need to draw the 3730. Okay. So if I would, let me copy this whole thing again. Then I don't need to scroll up and down. You have a headache. I too have a headache. Okay. So again, we're going to draw a shaft. Centroid. So MZ, we only need, need to consider we only need to consider the night three two point five. Then you have uh, another going in the y direction and this is going at uh, 2797.5 and I have okay uh, we will count the stresses at point C or the moment at point C point D and point E okay so this is a pretty same same concept okay so let me paste copy and paste on a different page there we do the calculation okay. so this is our page we don't need this for here yet okay 
So let me draw. What are we looking at? So this is now. My X, Y, and then rotation about Z. Okay. So on that orientation, you have 932.5, you have 667. Then you have uh, this value, which I did not copy. At point E is 3730. Okay, 3730 Newton. So there's a force coming down here at three seven three zero Newton. Okay. So we need to calculate moment about Z at point C, D, and E again. So moment Z at point C. is equal to 932 multiplied by 0 0.2 932 186 932.5 at point C multiplied by 0.2 186.5 uh, Newton meter and moment of Z at point D is going to 932.5 multiplied by 0.4. Okay, 932. So, 32.5 minus 0.4, 373. Then moment that at point E okay, is equal to 2797.5. 2797, come on, Eugene. 2797.5. Multiply by point two. Okay, so two seven nine seven point five. You go five five nine point five. Okay. So we also know that moment Z at point A is equal to moment Z at point B and they're both equal to zero. Okay. So now we sketch the graph. Okay. I should have, go on. Move this across slightly. Okay. Moment about Z, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Then the horizontal. So this is your point A, C, D, E, and at point A. Okay, so that is our uh, X distance. Point C is 186.5. Point D is 373.
and point E is 595.5. Then we could sketch again. Okay. So that is our uh, moment about Z uh, distribution. Then we have a talk. Talk in the X. And we did calculate the talk in the X before. Okay. So talk X at point C is equal to, we did do this. Okay. We calculate the talk. At point C, if we have, it's equal to 397.887. Okay, 397. 397.887. Point, I can't remember now. 887. Then TX at point D, TX at point D is equal to 198.944. Okay, 198.944. And TX at point E is equal to 596.831. Okay. 596.831. Newton meter. Okay. So we know that point A and point C are uh, uh, in one direction, right? Because of the arrow, right? The arrow going in this way, it is going in this direction. And at point E, due to the 3730, right? It's going to rotate in the opposite direction. Okay. So how do you sketch this on a is you how do you sketch this on 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 a on or, or how do you sketch the 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 top profile now? Okay. So you have to be very careful with the direction. These directions are the same. This one is different. Okay. So I'm I'm just going to use. Okay. We are just going to label this our talk. Newton meter, and we are going to do 600, 500, 400, 100, 200, 100, and we have our zero. Point A, point C, point D, point E, and point B again. Okay, this is X. So we know that TX at point A is equal to TX at point B. They are all completely equal to what? Zero. So A to C is zero. C onwards to D, right? You have a profile that's 397.887. Okay, so you have a uh, 